I don't understand what's happening, but I'm in. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to yet another standard gameplay video. A couple things I want to mention before we jump into this one. If you're not already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Not only is it a great way to support, but you are entered to win a free booster box of uh, Streets of New Capenna when that comes out. That's late April. We're actually giving it away in early May, so do keep track of that. We've got a video here on our homepage as well as details uh, over on our website at resolvesmtg.com. Second, uh, I'm I'm not sick, uh, but I have some allergies coming up, so if I sound a little nasal through this video, I'm very sorry. Uh, but. I, I wanted to get content out for you guys, so that's where we're at. Uh, I'm very excited about today's deck, though, because it actually features potentially one of my favorite cards from this uh, Kamigawa set, and I think it's actually a competitively viable deck because it is very, very strong. Uh, it's Bant Restoration. So the way that this card works is you return all artifact and enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Now, that's a powerful ability, but how can we maximize... The potential for that well what if uh what we actually were discarding were a bunch of enchantment creatures with the channel abilities so uh greater tanuki i hope i'm saying that correctly is probably the best example you pay two in a green discard it search your deck for a land put it onto the battlefield so it ramps you into the restoration it also gets a 6-5 trample enchantment into the graveyard which then you can bring back with the restoration uh now we also have mirror shell crab this is a nice way to counter a spell or an ability uh, unless the opponent pays three, which hopefully they won't be able to. And then, of course, we do have the Colossal Sky Turtle, which you can discard return target card from your graveyard to your hand. So it's a great way to get the restoration back or return target creature to its owner's hand. So you can kind of tempo out the opponent. Um, now, a lot of what this deck does in the early game is slow down things. Uh, and by that, I mean, we've got Candle Trap. Uh, this gives a creature defender, but crucially, you can bring this back again with the Brilliant Restoration. So after you uh, exile uh, the enchanted creature with that Coven ability, if you can, you can actually bring this back again with that Restoration. We do have Potion of Healing, an artifact that draws you a card. You can also use it to gain some life uh, and then theoretically kind of continue that trend. Uh, Spirited Companion, just a nice little 1-1 one -one that draws you a card. Nothing too crazy, but again... It comes back with the restoration. Everything does, essentially. Uh, the restoration is in here. This is one of my favorite new sagas from the set. I just think it does so much for you. Uh, smooths out the uh, mana drops. It actually does ramp you on two if you do it correctly. Uh, and so I'm really excited for that. And then you'll notice the rest of the deck is just basically destroy everything because it doesn't matter if we lose our stuff, we can bring it back. So uh, that's basically the plan. The only tech in the lands is really the Cave of the Frost Dragon. Uh, nothing too crazy, but overall, guys, I think this deck is going to be sick. Uh, I haven't really tested it out too much, but I have seen it played a good bit. We're going to be learning a little bit together, I think, this time, but it's going to be a blast. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's jump into the games. Let's see how we do with this deck. All right, guys, here we are for game number one, and this is a pretty strong hand. We don't have the blue for the channel on the crab, but what we do have are the spirited companions to draw us some cards. We also have the doom scar if we find ourselves against a hyper aggressive deck. So this definitely seems like the play. Uh, we can candle trap something as well if need be. Uh, and so we'll see how that actually goes. Very interested. Obviously, turn one is always a big tell in standard right now. Interesting. Blossoming Sands. Okay. Uh, with that in mind, I think we'll just go ahead and throw out the Spirited Companion for now. Uh, see what we draw. A land is perfect. We did, I mean, we definitely needed a land, so I'm very happy to see that. Uh, what we can do next turn, depending on how we would like to go about this, is foretell that Doom Scar. Uh, I do expect this is probably the enchantments list, if I had to guess. Ranger class, sure. Uh, so we'll see how this ends up going, but I think what we end up doing is throw this out, throw this out. Um, 
And you know, I am going to go ahead and be aggressive with this candle trap. That may be not really that great of a play, but what this does is it kind of forces them to want to play another creature. Um, and it, it keeps the damage away, which I think at some point is very relevant. We've got the Doom Scar later on to kind of take care of the board presence, but uh, crucially right now, I don't want to just Doom Scar for a 2-2. A so I think this is worth it. It looks like it is the enchantments deck, so that's not surprising. We'll see what they got going on. Again, guys, I apologize. Allergies are kicking in early this this year, and so uh, unfortunately they're hitting me a little hard, but it's all good. We got this. Um, cool. That's actually very good. Uh, okay. So how do we want to do this? Do we just want to Doom Scar now, uh, which is perfectly reasonable, or do we want to wait? Um, Part of me wants to see if we can counter something with that mirror shell crab. I'm gonna wait and see what happens here. And let's let's just see. Um, I'm not 100% sure this is the right play, but again, guys, we're learning as we go here. And so I think that's okay. Uh, let's counter the naturalist here. I don't really want them to have super cheap stuff. Um, and maybe that's not worth it. Maybe we should have just doom scarred. I don't know, but kind of I don't know. I, I do need to get some stuff into the graveyard here, so it feels correct to me uh, to be able to counter some stuff, just so when we do draw a restoration, hopefully we draw one, uh, we will be able to kind of take down everything. And this is fine, so what we're able to do now is Doomscar this upcoming turn, uh, while the Cave of the Frost Dragon does come in tapped, which is a little up upsetting. Uh, <laughs> it's not the end of the world. We actually could have avoided that, I guess. Uh, maybe not, but I did want to get the green source down. Okay, so it's going to hit for a good bit of damage. I am going to block just to save the extra point. We know we're going to Doom Scar this upcoming turn, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's sweep. Pretty straightforward turn. We do have the, uh, the big 6-5 here that can ramp us, so I would like to get that going. Uh, we also have that Spirited Companion, but I do think we just have to have to sweep that turn. Um, they were getting in for quite a bit of damage, so, and they've got that Runeforge champion, so they are going to get to play this right away, which is, uh, certainly not great for us. Uh, I assume they just take the rune, oh no, they've got the rune of speed. Okay. I haven't seen a red source, so I was a little surprised when they, they pulled the rune of speed, but it does obviously make the most sense here, so, well done opponent. There's a land, that's not bad. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we can find here. Um, let's just make sure. I think we actually get the second blue source just to ensure that we've got it. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. Yeah, okay. Uh, and I think here, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. We do wanna draw further into the deck here uh, as best we can. Doomscar's not bad. Again, the nice thing about this deck is it's kind of an all-in-one thing. So what we're able to do is just control the game with these Doom Scars for the most part in the early turns of the game. And then from there on out, we can just bring everything back once we draw that restoration. Uh, so we do have to get one at some point, uh, which would be great. But when we do, we've got a, the 6-5, the we've got the Candle Trap, we've got the Spirited Companion, uh, and we've got the Mirror Shell Crab all coming down. So certainly a good turn for us. This is going to be great because we are going to just Doom Scar here. Um, I will 100% block. Again, just saving ourselves as much damage as we can here. Um, and yeah, I think we just have to Doom Scar. Get everything off the field here. Hopefully they don't have another creature. I'm sure they do. Uh, but this is going to cost them quite a bit to play if they do get another creature. So that's okay. We also do have that Mirror Shell Crab at some point. So that could come in handy. Okay, Ranger class is great, uh, but it's not a Runeforge champion, which I think they would have played over it, uh, which is very important for us because it just means they're not going to take off crazy fast this turn. They can still do quite a bit, don't get me wrong, uh, but we've got options. Okay, uh, yeah, so we can do quite a bit this turn. So... 
first things first we're gonna do this return that to the hand that's gonna get rid of it permanently uh i think we'll go ahead and do this as well despite then not leaving up the counter magic uh if the ranger class was the best they could do last turn it's basically down to a good top deck for them uh and so i feel fairly confident in being able to do that deck thinning is also pretty important for us uh, and again, getting that token off the field just seems like the right play. Worth noting also, we can, if I'm not mistaken, channel at instant speed. I just haven't been because we really don't need to. Obviously we can because we can counter, um, but we really don't need to. Uh, it's, it's kind of easy enough just to do it on our turn. Um, it would make sense in some scenarios to wait until they're playing like the Katilda or something, I suppose. So maybe we should uh, be a little bit more diligent about that. Um, but that's just something to mention if you happen to try this deck out that that is a possibility you can obviously do that okay great card um so in this case i do think we wait uh because what we can do is activate the cave of the frost dragon uh or counter something that they're gonna do this katilda is probably gonna get in regardless of what they of what we do excuse me um but i'd like to see what we can make happen here I have a spirited companion we let that hit that's fine they're just trying to build this up which does make a lot of sense um and that i think we will counter so really and truly at this point it is just a matter of we need to get the restoration down what we could do is wait and just play this uh, which isn't a terrible idea and we do have time to consider our options here so we'll see um that is gonna get quite quite difficult for us to to race though here so i think the play still needs to be this um the problem is even if we did get that down it can't block this um and we really are in a situation where we kind of just need to get something going uh and unfortunately we're not getting there so we really just need a restoration <laughs> uh we'll play this we may have to block with the cave of the frost dragon here um i'm trying to think if we had played incorrectly here certainly we could have played cleaner is it incorrect what we have done so far though is the question um they do have their fifth land for that later on uh dropping that that's scary okay um yeah, I mean, this just comes down to we need a sweeper or we need the restoration. Sweeper is good because it gets stuff off the field, but it's not going to solve our problem. Uh, and in fact, yeah, they just kill us here. They've got the rune of speed. So good game from the opponent. Actually, wait, no, they don't kill us. Not quite yet. <laughs> not quite yet. I don't believe. So we can activate this to block here just to save ourselves as much as possible yeah i was gonna say they don't quite kill us there uh there's the brilliant restoration we'll decline um this probably isn't gonna be enough but we'll attach that there all right um i mean that's very good <laughs> and there's another one i will take it uh okay maybe it is enough we'll see um I mean that's really good <laughs> that's the thing is this deck takes over really quickly it's just a matter of can we survive we've only got to take three damage to lose here so it's a little tricky hmm and if they do sweep we just have a backup restoration ready to go not that i expect them to necessarily sweep i don't think that's what this deck is looking to do but you never know I feel okay about this surprisingly um i mean that's a big board you play one card and get a board like that you're pretty happy i think okay so they can get the sky turtle no they can't well yes they can but they have to tap out to do it i mean that's annoying but that doesn't win them the game. Okay. We still have everything on the field here that's gonna... So 
So we don't have a basic planes to search out here, but we do get to throw that down. Um, I guess we can exile this though, which I will go ahead and do. Um, I think we just attack with these three. Um, these all have tramples, so the trick here is that if they do get the Rune of Might on uh, the Runeforge champion, we need to be able to block it. Uh, and so I'm playing a bit safe here, but I think this is just the right play. We can double block with that Mirror Shell Crab, and then we've got the Brilliant Restoration to just bring stuff back if we need to, so it's not really a problem. Um, I think they win, though, based off of this, right? Because that gives them flying. So they win next turn, I believe. But they're trying to piece together, okay, does this make the most sense? They have a line. They definitely have the line. Uh, all they have to do is not block, basically, play the Katilda and attack, and they've got it. By the Katilda, I mean specifically Katilda's Rising Dawn. All they have to do is play that on a thing, and they win the game. Um, but it, I don't know if they either don't see that, or if they are just intentionally playing slow to time out. I, I'm not sure. So, we'll see. But that's definitely the line. Because they can take, what, 18 damage and be perfectly fine. So we could have done 28, 29, 30, 31 to them. <laughs> uh, we could have gotten them down to one, um, but unfortunately we don't have enough to really do that. Are they just... Like, they won the game. If they want to, they win the game. This is amazing to me. Um, I'm trying to think what we could have done instead is actually uh, made this a lot harder for them. Although really, no, it's not that much harder. They could have still won. I think they're just pissed off. <laughs> I think they're just mad, but they didn't lose. They won. I'm very confused. Well, guys, now's a great time to let you know that we do... <laughs> Uh, on Saturday, we have got part two of our collection update series. I'm really enjoying that series. We get to add a lot of cool stuff to the collection every week, and it's kind of fun to share that with you guys. Uh, it's a little bit of a different experience. I know it's not the same as uh, a lot of what we normally do on the channel, but it is really fun. Uh, and so for me, it's a really exciting part uh, or a really exciting piece of content to add uh, to the channel. And I really hope you guys enjoy that. It's a blast. Uh, we've got a lot of cool stuff that we get to add to the collection this week. And next week should be pretty much, like, I think the best episode yet. Uh, I haven't yet recorded it because some of the stuff is still coming in. But we have a lot of singles coming on week three, uh, which is super exciting because some of them are really old school stuff. Uh, and I'm really excited for that. So I hope you guys are enjoying that series. Uh, leave comments on those because I would love to improve that series, make it a little excuse me, more exciting, better, uh, things like that. And so if you've got suggestions for me, leave them. I would love to get to know uh, or, or to, to better that series and make it as good as I can because I think it's just, uh, it's a fun time. It's a really fun time. Uh, and so definitely, definitely check that out. Guys, I don't know what's going on. All they have to do is play the Catilda's Rising Dawn and win. But if they time out here, they just lose. I can't believe this. This is hilarious to me. Um, <laughs> absolutely hilarious. I don't understand what's happening, but I'm in. Um, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Guys, we're waiting this out. I know it's at like the 20 minute mark or something ridiculous like that, but we're, we're waiting it out. We have to. If we only get two games, that's fine because I'm not letting this be the reason. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry, I've asked you guys about that before and you're all like, yeah, don't, don't do that. Let them time it. Do it. I hate Please don't be this.
all right guys here we are for game number two sadly only game number two and yeah i mean this is a pretty easy keep we've got plenty of uh discardable things we even have that potion of healing we'll lead with the cave uh and see what we need to do from there but i think this is a pretty easy one um hopefully hopefully uh we can manage another win here um i'm gonna go for the potion of healing right away Part of me wanted to leave up the uh, the bounce here, but I don't actually think we need to. The only thing that I would have been kind of, it would have been nice to be able to bounce like this in response to a deadly dispute or something along those lines. But I think truthfully here, we just need to be drawing cards as most, as, as best we can. Um, okay, so we can restoration to deck then. Uh, and alternatively, we can just mirror shell grab. Hmm. I'm actually going to do this. We need to keep ramping and uh, deck thinning, I think, as best we can. Because, again, we do have Doom Scars. We have ways to deal with all of the stuff on the field. So it's really just a matter of let's get to it as fast as we can. Um, and, yeah, we take some hits here, but I think it's kind of worth it. Uh... So we'll throw the land down, uh, and what that allows us to do is just put the land back, uh, which is phenomenal. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's see, what is the right call here? Weirdly, I think it's to pass. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the right call or not, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to counter this. I'm going to not let that happen. Uh, and we can sacrifice this to gain a life, but I'm going to leave up the mana for now. So they can just replay that, which is cool. All right, we'll just go ahead and do it now. Uh, but crucially, we're actually to a point where this is going to start coming into play. They haven't really dealt that much damage to us either. Um, all right, so uh, now we've got some options. Uh, let's put you out for white. I think we'll restoration this turn. Um... And then probably end up sky turtling. But I think we'll wait. We'll see what they pull. Uh, return to... Okay. It's interesting. Okay. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm very interested in this deck. I think this is going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to just do this. I'm going to kind of force them to use it here. Uh, just to tap them down a little bit, if nothing else. Uh, and then next turn, I mean, we've got the Brilliant Restoration. And I'd like to get a peek at what they've got here. Oh, they have a Sky Turtle. Interesting. Uh, we'll decline. Why did I decline? I could have gotten... Uh, it doesn't matter. We're going to get it anyway. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and restoration here. And if they have a counter spell, they have a counter spell. Wow, they have test of talents. Of all the counter spells to have, that's a big one. Uh, okay. You got me there. That's a little annoying. Um... Luckily, we're at a point where our mana is so good that we should be able to play most things and it not be a problem. I am going to attack in here, get this Shambling Gas off the field. They're going to Treasure Token. Okay. Test of Talents. What an annoying card. I really hate Test of Talents. <laughs> I really, really hate Test of Talents, but that's fine. Uh, okay. do this uh i'm gonna fire this up here 
I think we kind of want to just start finishing this off. Uh, we'll attack him with these two. And we'll see what they do. All right, they're just going to take it. So the good news, bad news here. Uh, obviously, we have no more Brilliant Restoration, which is very bad for us. On the good side, though, we still have a significant board, as well as a devastating mastery if things get really bad on their side. I'm holding up this other brilliant or restoration of whatever <laughs> uh, solely because I don't particularly want to fire that off into um, kind of a board where they're just going to be able to kill everything. So I think we just keep going in this direction. They're obviously going to get uh, a trigger here, but that's fine. I think we just attack with everything. They can safely block a spirit, but that's fine. We need to maximize damage. There was no reason to attack with it last time, but I think here it's fine. And they're going to maximize their damage saving, uh, which is fair. So it's just like Sultai control, basically, it, sound, it, it looks like at least, um, which is great. It's a very good deck. They also got their second black source. That's actually really bad. That could mean a meat hook massacre coming down, which is really not what I want to see. But again, that's why we're holding on to the restoration here, just so we've got a backup, at least some kind of backup threat. The Cave of the Frost Dragon, thankfully, isn't something they can actually hit with, uh, with the meat hook massacre either. So we do have two of those now active, uh, which is great. Seralf. Huh. Okay. That's an interesting one. Um, I haven't seen Seraph in a long time. I really actually like him a lot. But... Okay. Uh, so they're gonna get two counter, th four counters on Seraph, <laughs> which is really good. Um, at the beginning of your IP, it has one or more. Okay. Interesting. Um, So we need a solution to that problem. Um, part of me wants to just destroy it <clears throat> uh, because we don't have a great answer for it at the moment. Alternatively, we can just attack in. Um, hmm. How's this work? I'm I'm thinking here, and we're just testing stuff out. So does this just does it also destroy all permanents? This might be an oops moment. Yep, it does. That was stupid. That's okay. Uh, thought I'd try something. Didn't work. My thought was instead of destroying all permanents, it might just bounce them because I never play devastating mastery. But here we are. Uh, all right, so. Bad play on my end, but that's okay. Um, oh man, and we draw a doom scar, of course. Uh, okay, well, it is what it is. We'll uh, make the best of it regardless. Um, we have so many lands here, it's ridiculous. All right, so we're going to discard this so we can get a potion of healing back. Um, and that draws us a card, which is helpful. I actually don't want Candle Trap on the Seraph, so I'm going to just destroy all creatures. If they have another counter, they have another counter. It's going to suck, but it looks like they don't. Uh, so that's helpful. Yeah, we definitely screwed up. I mean, that's just the reality of it. You test stuff, and unfortunately, it didn't work for us. Again, that backup restoration, though, I think is really going to come in handy here, uh, at least hopefully. Uh, we don't really want to candle trap this either. So, we'll see how this actually goes. Let's go ahead and activate one of these and, uh, move to attacks here. Get the attack for three in. Okay. Um, yeah. Can't do anything about it. They got it. Go ahead and play a Spirited Companion. This was always going to be a frustrating matchup because it is Soul Tie Control, but uh, this seems 
excessively dis uh, disheartening. But let's go ahead and gain some life too because we might as well. Um, and we'll pass. I mean, on the one hand, we're at 23. On the other hand, though, like, they have to have some good stuff that they can take over the game with at some point. It just doesn't seem like they're hitting it yet, if that makes sense. Uh, and so I have to imagine we're in trouble at some point here. I mean, the line is pretty clear. Um, we attack him with both of these. Hopefully rebuild with this architect. Um, they're obviously going to block it and then bounce the visionary. Which is, like, annoying, but fine. Yep. Okay, well... They didn't hit a land. They did hit two Seraphs, uh, which is actually really good for us because it just means they have probably no Seraphs. Um, we'll go ahead and foretell this just to get it out of the hand here. Um, I mean, that's all we can do. I can't believe I messed up very bad with that Devastating Mastery, but you know what? I think it's actually... It may not be okay, truthfully, but for now it feels okay. This is just a weird deck. Like, they've got Snakeskin Veils. They've got Seraphs. Okay, so they're going to get another Infernal Grasp. That's going to help them deal with the Cave of the Frost Dragon, uh, which is important. Um, okay. I mean, they can just get a... Uh, whatchamacallit? Path of Peril. Wow. <laughs> so they don't have a sideboard? That's interesting. Um, okay, they don't have a sideboard. That's fascinating. I mean, that's a card. Um, and this is, again, where we're going to be able to potentially just kind of deal with stuff. I'm actually not going to attack with the cave. Uh, I think I'm going to play the, uh, Tanuki. I never know how to say its name. So, again, we're just trying to chip away at this point. We're going to force them to play the Infernal Grasp, I think, on this. Um, okay. So they do gain a life. That's fine. It's annoying, but fine. Uh, and we just do this. So my assumption is they're going to kill this at the end of the turn. Um... Yeah. I don't know, man. This is an interesting game. We're having very long games, too. Okay. So they have Path of Peril, and they've got Colossal Sky Turtle. Both of which are great. Uh, we've got the answer to the Sky Turtle. Path of Peril does hit most things. But look at that. We finally did it. Oh, my gosh. What a long game. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we need to jump into the wrap-up. Oh, uh, we ranked up. We need to jump into the wrap up because these took forever. Let's talk about this deck. All right, guys. So this was technically an undefeated run, albeit it was only two games. So please keep that in mind if you are playing this. Uh, I am going to mark this as undefeated. But again, two games is only two games. So don't don't take that too heavily. That being said, though, um, I really like this deck. Uh, that test of talents was backbreaking. Um, however, we were still able to kind of secure the win. Despite them having a lot of answers in hand, I think long term... We just have uh, so much repeatability in the deck and just powerful stuff. I mean, you could look at our board state and we had all the lands to play anything we needed off the top. We had deck thinned quite a bit. Uh, and so at that point, like, I felt okay about where we were at. I'm very glad we saved that second restoration uh, just so we could get something down later. But overall, guys, uh, this is a great deck highly highly recommend trying this one out i really think this is a solid one brilliant restoration is one of my favorite cards from the set uh, i mentioned that before the set was even released and uh man it it really did some work here so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this one it was a blast for me i love you guys very much make sure you enter the giveaway subscribe to the channel there are three other ways you can enter that are free there are also two bonus entries for Patreon members as well as members here on YouTube. Uh, so do check that out. But guys, I love you very much. Thank you so much. I'll see you again very soon.